here. Smells so good in here. Okay, well, your step. I know everything around you is cool, but uh, please watch where you're stepping. Why are you over there? That looked really crowded. Oh, it's not crowded. Wow. A gray one. Is that new? Uh, yeah. It's, I'll have Tom talk to you about it later. Questions? What's the situation with the uh, uh, Because we are poor. <laughs> <laughs> when the Navy and the Air Force and that get rid of airplanes, we always try to get passengers if we can get them because the airplanes that they get rid of a lot of times have uh, hours left on them because we can replace some of our older ones with them. So the Navy is getting rid of two, two seat F 15 e models which have hours left on them and, and have a lot of work taken care of that we don't have to worry about. So we can get them as well as one that will keep for parts because sometimes parts are hard to come by as well because of the age of the aircraft. So are you modifying this for use? Yeah, yes. we'll uh, modify for the use of what we need it for. We use a lot of two-seat airplanes because the backseat will lot of times will have an engineer, a videographer, or a lovely photographer <laughs> in the backseat to help us with some of our chase missions. Right. Yeah. When will it be ready to... Oh, we, we've flown it, but uh, since the Navy didn't need it anymore, they uh, flew it right up to its next inspection. So before we can fly, we have to perform all the inspections that the Navy would have so that it is in a flight uh, airworthy. Yeah, exactly. Do you have a sense of when you will be? That'll be over with and then you be able to put it into use? Uh, so it's probably going to be, uh, I would say, probably two months to do all the work because we're in the Navy, they have a lot of people. They really jump on a lot of stuff, plus they get parts much faster than us. We have a limited number of resources, i.e. people and or parts, so that's why it takes us a little bit more. Anything else? The story for all your aircraft, are they mostly uh, hand-me-downs? They are. Uh, the last new airplane we bought was a uh, Predator, uh, because we were looking for an airplane for science missions, and we were able to get funding through uh, NASA headquarters and did purchase a uh, new Predator designed for us, uh, uh, basically for science missions. So it, it didn't have uh, the weapons complement systems, but it had parts of it so that we could use it for carrying pods and other things like that. So that's what worked out well for our pirates. But usually most of our airplanes are hand-me-downs. Uh, and again, it, I'm sure there's some moms or something in here. If you think free puppies are really expensive, free <laughs> airplanes are really expensive because of the work you have to do to get them back up and flying. Yes. What about the, do you guys in this facility and these maintainers also maintain the X aircraft? Or is yes, we we'll maintain. Yeah, we don't discriminate through any of that uh, based upon it. We are fully integrated with civil service and contractor workforce, and we work on all the airplanes that we have here. Uh, we will sometimes, like on an X airplane, we will work with the contractor who's building it to get familiarity with it, to understand how the airplane is, so that when we do get it and take over, then they will leave and we'll be the sole responsible party for making the airplane. Sure. Do you guys do uh, maintenance on the, is it WB, the 57s? Uh, no, it's not at this center. Uh, we have here uh, 22 airplanes, 10 different types, ranging from, uh, as you can see, a motor glider. We can go down down this way a little bit if you want. From a motor glider up to a 747. So we have a large variety of aircraft types. So is Sophia here? Yes. Somewhere? No, it's at Palmdale. Oh. Uh, it's too big. Uh, the problem we run into is, don't trip and fall. Thank you. Is that, uh, uh, at Palmdale, the DC-8 and Sophia, because of their size, we don't have really a hangar space here at this center to do it, so that's why we have a satellite at Palmdale. How many flyable F-18s do you have by the time you... Three. We like to three. maintain three, okay. so that if one's in a phase, we always have two others that can make them. Well, the single two seats. Uh, right, but we're going to get rid of the single two. Larger. Uh, you want to fly two seats. So that one will be retired. Yep. Yeah, 850 won't be retired. We'll keep it for parts. 